Do you want to know what I made today? Do you want to know? Tell me how much you want to know. Do you like sourdough bread? Do you like sourdough bread toast? Do you like toast? Do you like fish? Do you like cod liver? Uh, some people don't like it. I do. <laughs> do you like sardines? What about cod liver and sardines as a pate on somewhat freshly baked sourdough bread? Like, don't slice it when it's hot, right? But after it's cool, it's okay. And then toast it. And then lather it in butter. And then put some of this over top. It's cod liver sardine pate. But before I show you, please remember, there's cod liver pate, and then there's cod liver in cod liver oil. It's the second one that I used for this recipe today. The cod liver in the cod liver oil. Most people throw that oil out, but it's cod liver. It's rich in vitamin D. Get it into your body, but it's nasty. So this is a better way, especially if you like fish. And you could even add this to meat. Pasta? Oh, come on, don't even get me started on the creative ideas. How about you list them below in the comments section and give me a thumbs up, maybe while you're at it. And to the cod liver, in the cod liver oil, toss in some sardines or salmon or tuna fish or whatever fish you like that you got in a can hanging around and add lots of salt. I added about a tablespoon to, what's that, a half pint jar, so one cup, because the salt's gonna preserve so that it lasts longer. Because the stuff, the fat does have an expiry date. It goes rancid after a while. So you want to preserve the fat as long as you can, hence the salt. In addition to keeping the cod liver oil in the tin of cod liver in cod liver oil, you might even want to keep the juices of whatever fish it is that you use. I didn't do that this time around because I was thinking about it kind of like at the end as I was pouring it out. And I was thinking, I wonder what else is possible with that juice because there's got to be nutrients in that. So like, I want to get the most out of my food, don't you? So in addition to the salt preserving the meat, it also, especially when you're using cod liver, it just brings out a better flavor of the cod liver. Salt enhances whatever you you put it on. It's, if you know anything about crystals, it's kind of like a clear quartz. It magnifies whatever it touches. That's why you never want to carry or wear clear quartz when you're around a lot of angry people. It just intensifies it. Did you know that? Oh yeah. You need to be wearing something like shungite or obsidian or black agate or oh yeah, this isn't about crystals. Sorry guys, this is about food. But it's all interrelatable. So what's your language? right? I guess that's going to predetermine whether you like, share, and subscribe or not. But I digress. In short, it enhances the flavor of the cod liver. That's foodie speak. <laughs> Make sure you label it if you have lots of jars with food in your fridge. I mean, technically, because I've added more salt, and I could add some fermented whey to this, and I could ferment it and leave it on the counter. I didn't think of that until now. And it does prevent the fat from going rancid. Okay, if you don't have fermented whey, what else can you use? Well, do you have kombucha? Do you have a little bit of raw apple cider vinegar that you made yourself with a little bit of mother? Throw a bit of mother in there and a titch of, or a dash or a pinch or, I guess it's really up to you to make it, use it as a starter, essentially. What else? A little bit of water kefir? Ah, what's on my tongue? Ah, it feels like thread. That was weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. I sometimes, I just get really weird, even for me. It's like, who are you? I'm going to add a dash, which is about an eighth of a teaspoon. No, hmm. I'm going to add a whole teaspoon. Oh, gee, is a half an ounce a teaspoon? I don't think it is. I think it's more like a tablespoon. Teaspoon, tablespoon is a half ounce. Okay, guys, I lied. Tablespoon. I left grade school when metrics came in, so I have a whole beastie time with this conversion thing because really I didn't even understand the first one, and then suddenly I have to learn the second one. I was so confused, and I still am. So if you're like me and you think you have a learning disability or you just don't understand things sometimes, it could be because they failed us in our education system. Like they kept us confused for a purpose and an intention and a reason. But I still want to know who are they, who and what are they, and what's the reason? Anybody got a clue? 
comment section below. Maybe. I forgot to video it. I, I poured it in. Trust me, I did. I'll show you. I'll show you so that you know that I didn't lie. Hold on. The proof is in the oil separation. That's how you know that you've put a liquid in it. You know, if you're somebody like me that gets easily distracted or forgets, like, really easy. Now, come on. I know there's some of you out there going, did I put salt in it or not? <laughs> like, we've all done it. Because whether it's kids behind you or it's cats or it's husbands or neighbors or you're making six dishes at once, like, at some point in time. Oh, shoot. Did I put sugar in it or salt in it? What was I doing? And sometimes you have to like, oh, how do I rectify this now? <laughs> because you put salt instead of a cup of sugar. You don't. Well, you could ferment it. Add a little bit of fermented whey. Just a titch or a dash. We're back to this again. Okay, so now that I've shown you, I'm just going to mix it all back in with my little spatula. And actually that kind of emulsified the texture a little better. So, yay, I'll have to remember to stir it before I add it to my toast. And this would be so nice on eggs, sunny side up eggs. Oh my goodness. Even a boiled egg. <gasps> mm, mm, mm. I, you know, I think I'm, I'm not hungry now, but I think I'm starting to think of dinner ideas for myself. But for now, the beauty of that is that I don't even have to put it in the fridge. <laughs> oh my goodness! And then it's right on the counter next to the bread. Mmm. That's greasy, but oh my gosh, is that good. Mmm. And not just because I wrote that, but genuinely. That's good. That was so good I'm having another, but I'm thinking this time I'm going to add a slice of tomato. And no, to taste it. Mmm. <laughs> I seriously think that needs onions, so I'm going to go get me one. And I also think it needs a little bit of black pepper. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Second attempt with onion and black pepper. What's your reaction? What's the word? Strong and fishy. Strong and fishy. Too, a little bit too strong for me. A little too strong for him. So, I guess that's why you have to know if you really like fish. I think I like my custom tomato with uh, toast. Mm.